Right now, I'm in year 13 and I just sat a computer science programming mock and I can't lie, I was getting cooked. I don't think I was confident with any of my answers and I thought going into the exam that I was going to do way better than I actually did. Even though these mocks don't really mean anything because they don't contribute to my predicted grades, it got me thinking, if that was a real exam, how would I deal with being disappointed with the results? Firstly, I would look at the reason why I didn't do that well. Was it a really hard test or was I just struggling because I didn't prepare enough? It's really important to take accountability. You see, the person at the exam admissions doesn't really care about your sob stories, talking about, oh, the exam was too hard. They know, and you also know, that if the exam was really too hard, then the grade boundaries will just be lower and you would still get that grade you're supposed to get. Otherwise, it's most likely a personal issue. I would ask myself where I went wrong. Where was I lacking? Was I lazy? Or was my studying technique just not effective enough? We love to blame everyone except ourselves when something doesn't go our way. But no one benefits from your grade except you. So take accountability for them. Reflect and implement what you learn from these reflections in the future so it doesn't happen again. Another thing I would do is that I wouldn't compare my answers with other people. I actually learned this tip a couple of months ago from another YouTuber in this space called The First Chancers. Check him out, he gives really good advice. Can't tell you how many times I left an exam hall and started comparing my answers with other people and then all of a sudden I start getting anxiety because my answers aren't matching up. It would plague my mind for the whole day and that means I wouldn't have a clear mind when I'm trying to study and prepare for the next test. Don't make one bad test ruin all the other tests that come after it. Just forget it and focus on the next test. And you know what the funny thing is? Every time I compared my answers with other people and thought that maybe they did better than me, most times I would still do better than them. Just because your answers don't match with other people doesn't mean you're wrong. If you've enjoyed the video so far, can you just do me a solid and hit the like button so other people can enjoy it as well and benefit from it? Something else that I would consider is that just because I thought it went bad doesn't mean it actually went bad. You know, our brain is sometimes our biggest enemy. It could amplify our insecurities, especially under stress, like exam stress. The stress you're under in the exam makes you question every single answer you put down. And every time you question yourself, it builds up until eventually you convince yourself that you failed the test. But then you get it back a couple of months later and you got an A or an A star. Most of the times when I thought I did bad, especially in the external exams, when I got my result back, I was never disappointed. So don't let your brain fool you. And finally, do not despair. I really hope that if you just had a bad exam, after watching this video, you won't think about it ever again. I know it's cliche, but it's already in the past. You can't change it. You can't go back and resit the exam, so just forget it. No, we can't have everything. Sometimes we need to be humbled by a bad test because that's what shapes our character. I actually think that doing badly in school sometimes is something necessary to build up our character. You know, as young people, most of us at least, haven't really felt that, that, that feeling of failure and rejection. So I want you to imagine two different people. One of them aced all of his exams in school, and then the other, he had to get humbled a couple of times, but he bounced back. And then they move on to their adult life. Now when real rejection or adversity happens, what do you think will deal with it better? A real rejection, like getting fired or something like that. Something where your income could be on the line, for example. Person number two, who's already endured a couple of failures, will deal with it way better. So just look at the bright side.